two, one. And we're live. Man, sorry for the delay. Sorry about yesterday. Trust me, I want to stream. I want to do this as much as I possibly can. How are you guys doing today? Skepsis D is here. Sir Legna's here. Skepsis wins this time. Oh my god. Sir Legna is almost always first one here. Warp Enigma has D&D &D today. Hopefully you join proper tomorrow. Hopefully. Thanks for stopping by, Warp. Good luck on your campaign. And when you come back, uh, let me know how it goes. What level is the party? Hopefully Drifty will explain the red dot. It's clickbait. The red dot is clickbait. It's just supposed to mean live and grab your eye and make it so that you see it. It's a, okay, we're doing things a little bit different, all right? Uh, I, the 1440p, uh, I'm trying 1080p again because 1440p makes it so that it's very hard to see all the text in the editor. Like, the editor doesn't quite resize perfectly. Uh, all the windows are a lot smaller. It was obviously designed to work in 1080p perfectly. So um, when we do uh, these uh, dev stream stuff, it's going to be like... Uh, 1080p 60 fps so instead of 30 fps i'm doing i'm trying 60 fps uh we'll see how that goes i don't think we need 60 fps for an editor type of thing but you know why not also the font yeah okay the, the chat i whenever you change sizes you get this going on i'm gonna have to um wow that chat <laughs> that chat Five dollar super chat from Vino. Thank you so much, Vino. Appreciate the five bucks. Reason Dr Drifty didn't stream Monday. He was kidnapped by secret mimes. They did unspeakable things to him. Oh gosh, the puns, Vino. I'm sure there's four corners in your room. Pick one. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you so much, Vino. Appreciate that five bucks. <laughs> okay. Um, wacky swacky. The title is quite the mouthful. Is it really? DG Live background video game development. I mean, that's not really a mouthful, but I see the next part. RPG Maker MZ, MV, Node.js, Socket.io, MySQL. All of the, the keywords that help the um, video get flagged on the algorithm, I can see why that would come up as a mouthful. Are uh, logos and such allowed to be reused for the, for the project? The image assets for the jam, such as the logos and such, allowed to be reused for the project. What do you mean, the image assets? You mean, like, what's created for the jam? I, I don't know the question. Please rephrase it. KV Kingdom. This is so background that it was just... I know. Sorry. Changing resolutions always comes with a lot of problems. As you can see, I still missed one. I'm going to try to get that fixed real quick. Let me read the chat. Brian Perez, I hope he didn't start without us. That's happened before, Brian, when we, you scheduled two streams at the same time. Sometimes you go live and it, uh, it sends the notification to the one that's not going live. That's happened in the past. The, the, the main kicker for that is uh, when you started on uh, Streamlabs OBS, it's important to... Click the drop down and find the one you want to stream. Yeah. There he is. What's up, Life is Cancer? How you doing? KB agrees. Trying to read on 1440p is is like trying to read ants. I agree. So we we went back to 1080p for this type of thing. If we're playing like a really new game or something or whatever we can do 1440p but it really just makes more sense even though we can stream at 1440p to do uh, 1080 so that you can read things makes the most sense did you ever get your independent items going there is there is a plugin for mz really i know there's one for mv but i didn't know there's one for mz uh, no, I haven't set up independent items. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. There's a lot of compatibility issues that goes along with it. But um, point me to that plugin. Uh, I would like to check that out, Anthony Browning. Vino says, Psycho gets me. Like the logo, such as those ABC blocks. Yeah, T did the art 
for that. Poke Latte, how you doing? Warp Enigma, I has returned for like 15 minutes. How's the campaign going? What level's the party, man? Anyway, um, I last night I made a quick tips and trick video because we didn't stream and I felt bad about that. So I, I put together the beginning of a tips and tricks video. I haven't actually recorded it yet. So I'm going to try to record it live, baby. We're going to do it live. Um, and uh, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll just, I guess I'll just do that now. All right, so let's do this live. Quick tips and tricks. Um, what, what what should I call it? I don't know. I'll figure that out. I think I'll just show it off first, and we'll do that. Oh, I need to get the server running too, just because of the way things are set up. This doesn't have to be in this project, but I just happened to make it in this project, so that's going to stay like that. Reconnect to the server. Great. 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 What about the SQL database server? It's gonna be problems if that's not running Not here in this example, but it could be an issue um, If I try to do something else server status database servers running great great, okay, cool All right, you know what? I can put this console log up here. It'll be fine right there. Do 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 do. Should fix that font size times three hundred before t tutorial recording. Oh gosh, you're right. I keep forgetting. Does it get excluded from the videos? No, it won't unless I turn it off. So let me um, let me adjust this. Font size, let's go with 24. Well, let's go with 18. Done. Patreon backer text, where's that at? I think I changed it on the, um, like, the, the website. Oh, no, wait, this is something different. This is the, there's that. For the chat, I had to go into Streamlabs desktop. Okay, so let's fix that real quick. All right, so I have to go to Streamlabs on the, the web here. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry, you know. I want to do good. I try to do good, but sometimes I don't do as good as I want to do. Streamlabs, log in. Yes, please, go. There we go. Um, alert box? No. Widgets? It's in here somewhere. Stream overlays? Mm, no, it's not that. Oh my god, can it not be super laggy? Thank you. All widgets? Chat box. Here we go. Um, size of the chat box. Let's go down to 20. And then we'll have to like let the tax, the, the tax, let the text uh, update. Oh, I have to save, don't I? Okay, save settings. Good is subjective. <laughs> exactly. It erased it because... You know, it, it's, it's updating. So let me turn the text off, all chats off and back on. That'll refresh the API so that it loads again. TLDR, the uh, tips and tricks video that I made is a, hey, that looks better. Let me move this over a little bit like this. I would like it to align left. I'm sure I can do that somewhere in here. It seems to be centering. It's still too large. Let's go with 16. There is no align. It doesn't actually show in an alignment. But if I save settings and then I turn it off, 
and turn it back on maybe it'll update and I can always move it a little bit if that's the case pinkish is it pink now I thought it was supposed to be red I don't know why it's centering. It should not be centering. I think we'll stay 1080p 60 FPS. I also lowered the bitrate from 9,000 to 7,000 to accommodate for uh, slower connections. So hopefully Waffles isn't spinning. Because <laughs> he said he was, he was able to do it at 7. Do, 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 do. All right, let me go back to this live chat. Testing now. What does that look like? It's so strange how like... Okay, so the chat will go... Like that. If your name is super long, it might cut the name off. Let's do that. I think that'll work, right? Is that good? Is it too small? Is, it, is the chat just about right? I think it's good. All right, we're gonna go with that. All right, so I made this map <clears throat> for the purposes of testing a tips and tricks thing. And let's go ahead. I'm going to hit the record button. How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a very quick uh, tips and tricks video uh, for RPG Maker MZ. And this will only work in MZ for this particular thing, but there's other ways to do it in MV if you're very persistent on making it work. So, uh, this is basically a system that will let you... Um, change your sell prices to be a value that's randomized from the base value um, to a higher percentage value in case you want to have like merchants that make extra money off of the player or to change the prices in any way you can change the algorithm and I'll get into that later but let's go ahead and take a look at this guy um, right here this potion price is supposed to be a hundred as a base value but it can go up to 150 right now um, so the prices will be base price randomly or up to 50% more expensive. So Mega Potions got a little bit more expensive here. And I was testing zero cost items, so it doesn't affect zero cost items, so that's good. So right now we can see that Mega Potions cost 2600 and the rest are at their base value. But if we leave and come back to the menu again, it re-rolls them. And you can see that Mega Potions went back to its base cost. So... It's like there's a chance for the merchant to charge a little bit more for an item. It's kind of cruel on the player, but it's it's kind of like an idea that you can use to increase the difficulty if you wanted to. You can see Phoenix Downs got a slightly uh, increased price here, and so did the potions. Uh, let, let's keep testing it and show you like different uh, iterations. Mega Potions got increased there, but they, they will always roll between the base value and 50% more. Right here, they're all at base value. They typically stay at base value because of the, the way we wrote the algorithm. But if any uh, anyway, if that interests you, let me show you how to make that a uh, very easy to do very quick uh, tutorial here. So you're going to need a plug in for this. You're going to use the um, Vigistella MZ core engine and the items equip core. And then inside the items equip core, you're going to go to shop menu settings. And then over uh, underneath prices, you have the option to write your own custom JS to determine the sell price and the buy price. And I'm going to uh, adjust the buy price right here by double clicking it. And if you double click it on a new project, you'll see that it looks very similar. The only difference is this line here. So this is a quick line that's just augmenting the price by a uh, an argument that I put in there, just a, an algorithm. So it's going to take the price and set it to the math max of, um, and what math max is going to do is pick between the base price 
or this algorithm that adjusts the base price and it'll take the highest number of the two so it'll never be um, less than its base price if you do it like this if you wanted to change it you can you can change this to say uh, its base price minus um, a certain amount minus uh, a, an equation if you want it to be able to be lower as well you can say price times um, 0 0.9 and this uh, will well, or like 0 0.1, that would be 10% off. So at this point, it would um, take the value between 90% of the price or 50% more of the price. So you can change this algorithm however you want. I want it to be base price is the lowest cost, but then the merchants can try to make more on the player. So it will take the highest number. This is using math random, and math random is going to roll a random number between 0 and 1. It's a long float value. It's going to multiply that by 1.5. So if you wanted to increase the price of what the merchant could sell it to, to anywhere up to 75% more, then you do 1.75. If you wanted the price to be up to double, so base price to double, meaning if the, the the value of the item is worth 200, you want the merchant to ask anywhere from two to 400, then you can do a multiplication of times two. I think we'll make it a little bit easier here. And since um, I'm, mm, I'm already increasing it a little bit, we'll go with 1.25 and that's a 25% increase in price. So if the, if the value of the item is 100, then the merchant will ask anywhere from 100 to 125. And that's basically it. There's the the code for it right there. I can put the code in the um, description of, of this video. And that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Discord. Or join us on Discord. Follow us on Twitter. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. All right. I'll just edit that and um, upload that as a, a tips and tricks, you know, video. Uh, on the channel later on cool man so that's what I did last night um, that I did that right after I did another thing let me read the chat while I'm recording that I, I didn't want to stop to read the chat because uh, it'll be harder to edit <laughs> uh, let's see who's here arrow what's up how you doing man how you doing today Wacky Swacky asks, anyone here ever try out GB Studio? It's the engine that lets you make real Game Boy games. I've never heard of it. That sounds cool. Drifty, are you going to run that online game of yours to a server? Yeah, at some point. That's the goal. Make it so everyone can join and play it. The, pay, uh, the backer text needs a different color scheme. Gray with pinkish red. Okay, right. All right, all right. Let me change that next. You were thinking of making your Game Jam entry in GB Studio? Drifty would have to use a Game Boy emulator to play it, so I don't know. I mean, I could do that. There's nothing wrong with using an emulator. I have... I can get a Game Boy emulator. It's fine. You sent the link to the MZ plugin in Discord. Awesome. Hey, Wrath of Wood, how you doing? Waffles is spinning so much now that he isn't even able to chat. I don't know, maybe. I don't think he's here. What? You made a map? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made a map. It's the the most fundamental basic world map. Making world maps is okay. That's my least, uh, that's my least, uh, well, that's my most favorite. I don't really like mapping, so I don't know how to say that exactly, but it's the least annoying type of mapping, making world maps. You should check out my item cost formula plugin. You can do that but with damage formula like equations. Hey, so there's plugins to make that happen, but I'm also using a plugin to just put that right in the right in there. Yours can differ between each item too. Cool. Sir Legnas, he's got you covered. So you can do that uh, or you can use a plugin, a different if you don't want to use a special plugin for it, you're probably already using Vigistella. 
I would say like nine out of ten people are probably already using that base, the free Vigistel plugin. Need a tutorial on how to do time travel so I can do better at stonks. I know, me too. I mean, Geo and um, uh, ITRM is uh, they're up to date a little bit. I mean, that's good. They've been down so much, but. I think the talk of stimulus and other things might raise some of the stock prices. It seems like crypto was up yesterday. A couple of them were dipping today. Yeah, it's the ROMs that are that are sus. You can use emulators. There's nothing wrong with using emulators. Cool. Let's talk about what I did yesterday in the project. So I'm looking more into independent items. I know Anthony Browning's got a plugin for me to check out, which I will check out. Um, also, Phoenix Kagadisu has made an online, like MZ MMO type of like team play thing, which looks super cool. And we might be taking a look at that pretty soon as well. If we have time today, we'll, we'll take a look at that. It looks really interesting. It might be what we need for this project. So, I mean, I'm not about trying to remake the wheel. If it exists and it works well, let's use what exists and try to make something fun with the things that are available. Use the best with what you're given. And so I like that idea. We might take a look at Phoenix Kagadisu's um, plugin. What I added to the project yesterday is uh, armor sets. Vigistella, they've released the plugin earlier for people who are in the know and have backed uh, Vigistella. But they put out the video promoing it, so I wanted to also amplify that signal and talk about it today. Um, yesterday I, I was going to do that, um, and I made the armor sets. So I've got different types of armor sets I've, in my... Um, in my game here in the database i've got different like made up fake metals i mean some of these are real but like a lot of the most of them are fake uh bronze iron silver mithril obsidian adamantium nebicide diozide morphite espergite coral aegisite driftite they're they're like um metal types and so you have different equip slots and they all have their um correlating metal types and that's just that already existed i made that in dungeons of driftwood and i brought most of the ideas and stuff over from mv to mz and so i'm i'm continuing that databasing project that i'm that i've got here and i've added equip set and i've made new equip set so if you're interested in doing something like that that's a new plugin. It's a tier two plugin. It's called Equip Set Bonuses from Vigistella. And in order to get started, I mean, I recommend you read the help file, but what you gotta do is double click on equipment sets and delete the presets here. Unless you wanna use them, it's fine, you can use them. Uh, and then add your own by double clicking and um, assign the data and just kinda go through one line at a time. Don't look at it as a whole, look at everything as one line at a time and then it, it try to understand just one single line. If you can't understand that line, try to understand the first word you see, and then um, you know take it that way. If you take it piece by piece, you'll be able to understand all of the parameters and everything, and it makes sense. But if you try to look at it as, wow, this one plugin has a million features, you're gonna get lost. <laughs> Is Driftite the high tier? Yeah, you're not gonna get it. It's like it's it's obtainable, but like yeah, I probably won't. You probably won't have it, to be honest. It'll be like 5% of the, the players who play the game will probably get it. Just an estimate. But anyway, like so you, you create a new thing right here. You give it a name, your set of armor. You select the icon. What's cool about this is if you were to right-click, you can see this little drop-down, Insert Icon Index, and it brings up all of your icons, which is cool. And you can find the number of what, you're, what you've selected in the bottom left. So say I wanted this sword looking one here. I know that's 3674. And if I were to hit OK, it's going to add that number. It, it added it and it doesn't delete. So you'd have to backspace. But you can see it added 3674 right there. We're going to delete that because I want to use 1874 right there. And then you give it the bonuses. So this is a cool plugin that allows you to have up to 20 um, like bonuses or, or up to 20 well, you can have a lot more than 20 bonuses, but you can have uh, 20 pieces of a set. So you can have, I don't know why you would have that much gear. My game has a ton of gear, and I'm only going to go up to um, like five or six pieces probably in the end. I mean, right here it shows that I've got a set for six, but uh, going forward I only made them sets of four. 
and I'm, I forgot to update that actually. So I'll go in here and show you how to do that. I'm going to turn this back to zero plus zero for five. Hmm, I wonder if I can just delete. Can I just, what happens if I delete? Oh, it just goes like that. And then I hit okay. Apparently that, that'll work. So I'll just delete and then double click and hit okay. Then it's kind of blank because I don't want it to show. Um, I'll show you. It has like a, a little pop up when you hover over the mouse. It's really cool. If you don't understand the first word, take the first letter and try to understand. You're going to go to the next level. So like, no. if you don't understand the first letter, then <laughs> practice your alphabet. I don't know. But anyway, how it works is. You can have it so that you get a set bonus for having one piece of gear, but that doesn't make much sense as a set, so we skip it. And then if you're wearing two pieces of this type of gear, in this case, bronze type of weapons and armor, then you can double click here and choose to give whatever bonus stuff that you want. You can have passive states be add, added. You can have parameter bonuses, uh, extra parameters and special parameters. In this case, it's very simple. I might update it and add more to it, but it's basically just gonna add some HP if you're using a similar set. So we're gonna double click on basic parameters. And at the top, you can see that it's requiring a plus. Now, I don't know if you actually need to add the plus, but if you do put a plus in here, it will ignore the plus and just do a basic addition. So because it was defaulting everything to plus the number, I just went with it and said, okay, plus 50 instead of typing 50. But I bet if you type 50, it would probably still work because this is an addition we can add a negative number too. So if we were to say we wanted to, you, we want the player to lose 50 HP and gain something else, we can add a negative number by making this negative 50, but we're not gonna do that. The rate is also a way to change it. So this is a multiplicative uh, bonus and it will apply this once you have um, the set on after all the other um, calculations have been made so if I wanted to give my character 10% extra max HP while they're wearing two pieces I can do 1.1 and then after all of the the calculations will have been done it will boost their um, their HP by 10% and then it adds the flat afterwards so it's not at the very end this happens right before the flat um, you can actually change that if you wanted to change how the calculation works but I've kept all the rates the same, and I'm making it simple. I'm just adding um, one particular stat for each set. You can set up your sets however you want. In here, I was going to add some other stuff, and then I um, decided I didn't want to. Um, I didn't have it balanced yet, so I took those bonuses out. But it still leaves it there. And if you wanted to get rid of it, you can press delete and then double click and then hit OK. And it, it does the same thing. It removes all the changes you made. But that's pretty simple. As far as this is concerned, if you if you leave it as auto, then the text will appear next to each each piece in the tooltip window. And let's go ahead and jump into the game and see how this actually looks and works. I think it's pretty cool. We're also going to mess around with some script calls and try to do some uh, for loops in the console and and uh, just work on our JS a little bit real quick. I'm glad Sir Lang is here. He's going to help me out. More rare than unobtainium? No, it's not that rare. I mean. I mean, the game isn't even in a position where you can obtain it at all yet. It's The game is still... Um, the, the database is very filled out, which is great. But it, it's at a point where the playability is there's not a lot of maps. And there's only a few creatures. And there's not much progression. Or there's just not a lot of game there. There's a whole bunch of database for game to be made. But I need to do more game making. It's sort of like... Um, when you're making obviously when you're making a game you have to wear all the hats and you've got to do everything <laughs> oh bye okay bye i gotta go no don't go sir legna come on you know you want to stick around and help me with some js stuff i i never understood why vs limits it anyways so we both are confused in two different ways hmm, maybe i'm missing something uh, what's up dvd how you doing Did, is there a question or something take care warp Needed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. 
I'm not sure what you're talking about. VS limits what? What is VS limits, Erlagna? I know they limit stuff. Um, oh, limits it to 20? Well, because it's just like how much copy pasting do you need? And like, for example, um, you have to like have it set up and the plugin just gets bloated if you're doing too much copy pasting. Um, 20 seems more than enough. And I think they just decided no one's going to have 20 equipment sets. Nobody's going to have 20 um, equipment types. Like even I, who has way more than you need and I don't even t utilize them all properly, I've only got 16. So like it would be really impossible for me to use all 20. I could only use 16 because it was only 16 equipment types. Does your game have 20 equipment types? I, I don't know of any game that has 20 equipment types. So I think 20 is more than enough. Now you can have as many sets as you want, but these are for the bonuses. Don't copy paste, makes a struct, and then make it a list of structs. Did you look at the internals? I don't know if it's, in, it's you know, you can't because it's uh, obfuscated. But, I mean, like, I, I think 20 is plenty, in my opinion. Like, like, I have more than enough. I think 10 is, like, where you should cap yourself. Because I've already made the database, like, before I knew better, I just kind of kept 16. But, like, I think 10 equipment types is plenty. You shouldn't really need more than that. Uh, in, in some games, they only give you like two, like a weapon and an armor, and like that's it. Sometimes three weapon, armor, accessory. And, and that makes sense, and that works most of the time. So giving you 20 possible like combinations of, of, of that, I want 999 equipment types. They're like, no, you're being excessive. You're being a little excessive there. Okay, anyway, let me um, change my starting position now that we got that video recorded. Close the debug room. Login screen. Start the player here. Thank you very much. We're starting transparent. Hit OK. Let's connect. Let's make a new account. We'll call it Sir L. Best set is Exodia. I'm sure I'll have more sets. Those are just the basic ones, and I'll update them for sure. Let's be this chick right here. Yeah. These uh, character sprites that I auto-generated are pretty bad. They're pretty freaking awful. I did them in a hurry. I'm like, I gotta give the player some kind of customization for this character look, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, I'll just make like eight different types. I made like 12 or something. But they're, they just, <laughs> I rushed through it. And I was like, yeah, that looks good enough. And their faces are just like, eh, not great. But it's okay. It's, it's placeholder art. It's all placeholder art. So what we're gonna do here is look at this. You can see that the bronze axe is part of the bronze um, equipment set bonuses, as well as the bronze plate mail. So because I have the bronze plate mail and the bronze axe on, it's giving me the set effect of an additional 50 max HP. And I really like how it does a little text pop up to let you know, because otherwise the player may not even know and they may think like just this weapon gives you 50 HP. But really, it's giving you 15 attack and 15 defense, but then you're getting 50 max HP because of the set bonus, which is really neat. Um, let's go ahead and 50-50-50. Um, I wanted the 4 to be double and because I've done the same equation on most of the other. So let's go ahead and make that quick adjustment. Equip set bonuses inside of equipment sets, inside the bronze set, inside having 4 pieces. Let's change the max HP to double the other bonuses. So if you get the last piece, um, you get double. Now, there's like 6 or 7 uh, different bronze pieces that you could wear at the same time i think the if you're a warrior and can use a shield there's like seven or eight i don't really remember exactly how much but i didn't want them to i didn't want to limit to like having to have all of them and i didn't want to have to write in all of the extra bonuses for having five pieces six pieces seven pieces when not all characters can even have those uh 
six pieces, seven pieces. So I decided let's just do a set of two bonus, a set of three bonus, and a set of four bonus. So it says 50 here for when you have four, but right now I changed it to 100. But let's add some more items. I'm going to bring up the console, and in the console we're going to write write some code that will give us items. So let's do a simple one first. Let's do game party dot gain items, gain item. Um, and it's looking for three things. These are the previous things that I've tested. So it's looking, we're going to use data armors 91. And this, this is going to say what type, what are we adding? This is how many, and this is include uh, equipment. I like how MVMZ shows you the pop-ups and MZ and MV it doesn't do that unless you install some other stuff. Anthony Browning, shout out! Thank you so so much for helping me get that set up too. Um, so now we've added item 91. I can't remember what item 91 is, but if we optimize, you can see the bronze gloves were added and we have the bronze gloves now, and we're getting the set bonus of another 50 HP. So that's great. Cool, and let's go ahead and add um, some more. Item 111, oops. Item 111, I forgot which one that is. Oops, I don't actually have to leave that menu. It just updates automatically. Optimize, maybe that was a plate mail or something or, oh, boots. Now we have the full set bonus. So we've got the boots, the gloves, the plate mail. I want to think of a code, Sir Legna, I gotta go to the bathroom, but I wanna give you this challenge before I run off into the distance. Um, I wanna write a for loop, and I want to have um, every item be added to my character if it has the word bronze in it. Did you get that? For I wanna run a for loop that will add every piece of equipment to the party if it has a keyword in it, all right? Think about that, I'll be right back. <clears throat> so Lignus says, I would most likely check to see if it match equipment type in the database instead, instead of string checking. Match equipment type. Hmm. Well, here's the reason why I say if it includes the word bronze, because I think I know how to do something like that. So if I go into the project, let me minimize this. I have a common event, which I copied from somebody else's genius. Um that will give me all items that has no blanks in it. So the line I'm looking for, let's do armors. Let's just take this line that says data armors. Let's copy this and let's go into the console and just look at what we got here. So data armors object dot for each, we're writing a function calling it armor. And then we're saying if armor and armor dot name game party dot gain item armor 99 of them false. We're going to change this to just give us one of them. And let's say and armor dot name 
Um, can we use dot contains? I need to look this up. I'm, I'm just pulling this out. I don't remember. I need some basic JS. JS uh, contains. Maybe it's includes. We have to use include. String includes method. Yeah, we, not contains, uh, includes. The includes method determines whether a string contains the characters of a specified string. So let's do includes. Includes. Um, do. And then inside of here, we pass in the argument bronze. So for each entry into the data armors, if it includes the word bronze, gain that armor, right? Shouldn't that work? It didn't like crash on me. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, oh shit, it works. Bro. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna, yeah, you can use contain. Does contain work? I don't know. I, I looked it up and then it said includes. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So that, that seems to work fine. This is fun to me. I, I like doing, uh, like, I can just write, you know, obviously I can go into the game and make an event and I can add all this shit manually to an event and then open it and restart the project, but I don't want to do that. I want to open the console, type what I want to happen, and then just right there while the game is running, make it happen. For two reasons. One, because if you know how to do it, it's faster. And two, um, if you know how to do it, you can use it in plugins and your uh, other script calls. So it's really great to like practice it and it like you may think oh i don't know how to do that well of course you don't you never tried to learn that or you haven't put enough time and, and uh, time into it yet but like that doesn't mean you can't do it you just have to freaking learn how to do it right so like that's what i like to do he needs 999 equipment types for a thousand party members says kv exactly <laughs> Wrath of Wood says a lot of MMOs have equipment sets and bonuses based on it. It's fun getting a set. I've I've been playing Diablo 2, some uh, pluggy mod and um, the D2 mod maker lately because I I watched the video for the Diablo 2 Resurrected and I'm all hyped for it. I can't wait for it to come out. I can't wait to see the mods that people make for it. I might want to make mods for it. I definitely don't want to make mods for the 21-year-old game or 20-year-old game Diablo 2 because it's a fantastic game, but holy shit, it's much more complicated when you're dealing with that old tech. But if they're going to remaster it, I think uh, it'll be more uh, mod. It'll be easily more easily moddable, and I might want to mod make a mod for Diablo 2 Resurrected because I think it'd be a fun side project. But um, we'll see. I have to like look into it, and it's not even out yet, so who knows? I also wanted to make mods for another game. What was it called? It was like a Minecraft spinoff, but and they had like this custom world. And gosh, I can't even remember because they keep delaying it. What was it? it wasn't Scenario? That's a that's for uh, it's like monsters and like creatures and shit. Uh, anyway, I forgot the name of it. Can you mix and match set bonuses like bronze top and silver bottoms give you different bonuses? No, you can't, but I do have both sets. So if you have two silver and two bronze, you get the, the silver two and the bronze two bonus or like no. You could make, I, I mean, you can actually make them do that if you wanted to. Uh, why is that still running? That shouldn't be running. Okay. Yeah, you can make that happen if you wanted to. Like, you, you can make one uh, item be in multiple sets. I don't really necessarily want to do that for the metals. But maybe, like, if I have a different type of, um, uh, like, I don't know, that's not specific on the metal it was made out of. You th It shows you in the video that you can do that. You can make one item be in multiple sets, for sure. 
Does he expect me to write that code in a YouTube comment? No, you can message it to me on Discord. We have Discord. Links in the description below. Come join us. I'd love to have you in the Discord. It'd be fantastic. You can promote your stuff there. Meet like-minded individuals. For data, for armor data, I enumerate data armors. Armor data dot equip type equal four equipment. I mean that that would probably work, so like no, but we j I just wrote it. I already I did it quickly because I copied somebody else's genius and then I I added one thing and changed it. That's essentially modding. That's why I want to make mods going into the future. There is a rough pseudo code I would use. Curious about Minecraft mods? Uh, I haven't played Minecraft in a while, but it's still super popular, still super popping. You cannot at work? Oh, they don't let you use Discord at work now? Brutal. That's brutal. Savage, man. Rip. Anyway, let's do the same thing except include the word iron. Iron. Bam. All right. And then if we optimize, we should see the iron set. Bang. We just switched to the iron set. And this one, instead of uh, instead of HP, you're getting defense, which is vitality. So plus 5, plus 5, plus 10 for the third one. Bam. We have the iron set on. Let's do the same thing, except this time let's do silver. This is the next set. See why I didn't want to actually make it in the game because once we figured it out, it's so much faster just to do this with the console. So you can use YouTube at work, but not Discord. <laughs> Silver's giving willpower. This is the two star item. I made a, I guess I made iron and bronze both one star. They're both pretty, pretty shoddy. Hmm. Let's do the next tier, which would be mithril. Optimize. Oops. Bam. Mithril shield. This gives dexterity, which is agility. This is our, our fast, speedy stuff. Three star stuff. Our stats are rising. The Ryzen 9. The next one, Obsidian. I'm just showing you all the sets real quick. Boom. Charisma, which is the luck stat. Data armors dot for each function armor, which we could call it banana or whatever we wanted. If armor and armor dot name dot includes admantium, which is the next tier, then we want to run this function game party dot gain item, passing in armor, one of them, and false. And and this once again is finding what exact object to add. Adamantium shields. This gives attack. Attack power. Strength is the attack power one. Sweet. How many do we actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the warrior gets uh, also the weapon. So eight. So the warrior could equip eight. But like the mages can't wear shields. And they don't get pauldrons either. So um, really if you subtract... You wouldn't want the weapon to also be required because I want to make custom weapons. So you would get rid of the weapon, the shield, and the pauldrons. And what do you got left? One, two, three, four, five. So maybe I'll add a fifth, a fifth set effect. I think we'll do that. We'll go through and add a fifth set effect so it'll add something special. Let's continue on and add the next tier to see what... They get increasingly stronger as the, the armor sets go up. Nebusite would be the next one. We'll optimize that. This one's giving magic attack power.
The database is pretty massive as far as what's already in the game. I just need to make the game playable and um, give people access to these uh, these items. I made these icons with Yanfly's icon generator like three or four years ago. But I'm glad that I can still utilize them to this day. That's cool. For a while I thought, man, I've, I've wasted my time with some of these other games. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's a waste of time if uh, you you reuse assets that you made for pe previous um, projects. Deozite's the next tier. This is the yellow one, which is going to add max MP. The stats go up on all these every time. The next one, oh my god, I'm forgetting. I can't remember. Uh, Deozite, and then I think it's Morphite. I made like 13 tiers. I went a little overboard. There's our Morphite set. If you can see this time, okay, the Morphite body isn't added, right? The pauldrons are. The helmet is not giving a set bonus. Neither is the body. Oh, I found a bug. That's good. Let's fix this, this bug real quick. Armors. More fight. Equip set. More fight. Copy that. Equip set. More fight. Boots. Equip set. More fight. Oh, here we go. It's not there on the gloves. It's not there on the body. It needs to be there. Helmet. What else was it missing? It is there on the shield. How are your projects going along? How is your, your project going? Are you guys working on a project? Are you doing a game jam right now? We have a game jam going. If you're not doing a game jam and you're interested in participating in a game jam, we have a build your own game jam game jam that's still available for, uh, still open for 25 more days or so. You could enter that if you're interested. And there's 10 themes to choose from and you can pick whichever themes you want. You have to choose more than one. However, a couple of them are pretty easy to fit in. Uh, that's what she said. You can have uh, purple as a theme. By popular demand, it won, and uh, it is a theme, so if you can't find something else to put in your dungeon crawler, just put some purple stuff and say it's a purple dungeon crawler and you've got multiple themes. Oh, cool. We fixed the Morphite bug. Oh, let me test the weapon, too. Is the Morphite weapons? Are the Morphite weapons added as well? Yes. It looks like they are. I don't see why it wouldn't be the rest of them as well. Then we have Espergite as the next one. So let's bring this up. Let's bring this up. So let's add one of each Espergite gear and optimize. Let's make sure that they add set bonuses. The shield is not adding a bonus. Okay, it should be. This one is adding two things, so you can add as many things as you want. This is giving HP and magic attack power. So I need to look at the shield. For some reason, the shield is not counted as what it should be. Let's make sure that that gets added. Yeah, that one got skipped for some reason. All right, that's fixed. It's good to check them. The rest of them seem to be there.
a fifth element the stocks are climbing i i suppose they would after the senate passed the stimulus proposal they uh they modified and amended it so it needs to go back to the house to be voted on again uh, which obviously they're just going to say yeah it's send it through but it's like another way for certain parties to delay the whole process longer because they didn't want it to happen in the first place um but it seems like it's going to happen and even though the 15 dollars an hour thing got taken out and the unemployment went from 400 to 300 a week um in the package what else changed the the caps changed so if you make a hundred thousand or more a year you, you're not included in it now and now it's a uh, or no, it, it was a hundred thousand or up to a hundred thousand. Now it's eighty thousand. So if you make like eighty thousand, you get you get taken out of it. I don't agree with it, but it's just what it is. What it is. Um, so that's uh, that's the things that were changed with the stimulus package. But it does look like it's going to pass. So because now it, it has to go through back to the house for the house to say yeah we proposed this the senate amended it and passed it and now because of the amendments the house has to pass it again because they got the wallet and then they say yes i agree it goes to the president's desk and the president says yes or no which obviously was his proposal he's going to pass it uh and so then boom boom it's like for sure it's for sure it's going to pass now um it's just a matter of like you know the the parliamentary procedure to make it happen and that's just a it should be soon and because people see that for sure this is 99.999 percent going through and it's going to happen and money will will be um generated and, sp and spent everyone's like okay and put in money now before that happens because you know things are going to go up because people have money to put it in and uh and so that's why stocks are rising in my opinion can't copyright you must go with the sixth element yeah remember the lessons you learned from your free your previous projects if uh if you can't reuse any of the assets that you put into them you could always try to remember what you have learned from the previous projects as well kv says he's currently working on two jam or two jam projects dang one of which is to build your own game jam that's awesome what is the other one what do you what else are you doing kv is there what other jam is there so Lingna says, I was wondering if I can use the Game Jam images for my thumbnail tonight for my stream. Oh, yeah, sure, dude. Yeah, it's just going to cross-promote. It's just going to promote us. Go for it. Put them in there. That's what she said. Bada-boom. Bada-bing. Hey, forget about it. I don't see why not. I think it's just going to... Trying to stop people from, like, uh, using your stuff is just going to shoot you in the foot most of the time. I mean, look at Nintendo's last case with trying to shut down people from streaming Mario. They just saw sales drop. Wii U did terrible. Like, that was a whole same era. Do you think it was uh, related? I do. I think it was related. If they would have uh, allowed more streamers to play uh, Nintendo games, they would have had more sales, period. And I think they saw that. That's why you can do that now without being a partner, Nintendo partner, or whatever bullshit they did. They got rid of that, and they're like, everyone can just stream it, fuck it, go, because it's free advertisement, and they know it. It generates more sales. You guys know Nintendo started by making uh, cards, like like trading card game cards? That was their beginning. They made, they made cards, and then they started making toys, and then they moved on to the electronics. And then they said, no, these are kids' electronics. And so they had, like, this untapped potential. I watched a video on it a while ago. It was pretty interesting, actually. You're trying to put together a game for the Magical Girl Game Jam? Wow, is that on itch? I'm making game progress. Hopefully, we'll have it done by the deadline at the end of this next weekend. Back in the 1800s, I know. It's insane, right? Nintendo has been going hard for a long, long time. I forgot my armors. What's after Espergite? Is that uh, Coral? Coral? Aegisite? I think it's Coral. Okay, anyway, let's do Coral. My, my made-up names. I used a generator, and then I changed stuff. Here's a set pa uh, bonus for these. You can see that we're adding more and more and more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's some... I did something wrong here. Because max HP 200, willpower 20, that's right. Magical damage minus 100%, minus 100%, minus 200%. I think that's where we went wrong. Okay, I'm glad that we're checking this. Because I need to make some adjustments really quickly here. 
Let's go to that set and the equip set bonuses, pl plugin parameters, equipment sets. We're over here, Esper Get Coral. And I need to make some changes to this. Target rate, no, 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 no. Scrolling down to where we have magic damage rate. Add a negative, I see, 0 0.01. Now that would be 1%, not, I don't want 100%, just a 1%. Let's update that for the rest of them as well. So when you have three pieces, we need to update this. So you don't take away 100% of the magic damage you receive. That is extremely broken. I'm glad that we're testing this. You lose, you, you would uh, reduce magic damage taken by 1%, 1%, and this last one would be 2%. But these are factors, yeah, one is 100 in this in this instance. One is 100%, so minus 0 0.02 is 2%. So add a negative 0 0.02 to magic damage rate. And now that should update. And going forward, I know I did the same thing inside of here, but for physical damage taken. So I should update this as well. So this isn't minus 200% dam physical damage taken, it's minus 2%. I'll update that for the set of three as well. Minus 0 0.02. And then for the for the final set of four, we, we double that. Maybe I'll make passive states and add a passive state if you have like five or more of the same set. That'd be a cool idea. Of course, it's more work, and I need to put my work, uh, I need to put effort in another area, actually, so that the game becomes more playable. It's, it's getting more database updates, but... So, in total, you lose, uh, you would, you would take 8% less physical damage with that second to highest set. What am I changing over here? Am I making a change here? Ah. Add plus 10. This would probably give you 10 times as much <laughs> experience. So that's not what we want. We want 0 0.1. That would give you 10% more experience. And then for here, we want to do 5% more experience. 0 0.05 extremely broken and overpowered until I fix it there we go now it's more in line with a nice bonus but not broken sweet it's good to test let's hit ok and save the project too great 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 all right, let's make sure that they're all added properly. It seems like the set bonus is coming up, so they're all part of the set. Let's add the next one, which would be Age Sight. You should have it so that when you gain skills, that you gain skills if you have states. Oh, wait, Armors, Agnes says, you should add it where you gain skills if you have armors is that what you're saying i mean you could totally do that you can gain skills if you're wearing armor but there's plenty of skills and uh mm. skills take a lot of time because i like to do a lot of like customizing them we're up to age of sight looks like this is in here of course it's not going to read the update because i have to restart the project so it still says physical damage, minus 200%, 204%. So you're definitely going to take zero from everything. But um, it looks like they're all added to the set. And finally, we'll check the Driftite armor set. And this one gives, yeah, that's what I thought, plus five times experience, five times, ten times experience, which is not what it's going to do. It's going to get 5%, 5%, and then 10%, totaling a 20% experience bonus once you get to this tier, if you have two, three, four of them. But the highest tier, the, the highest set bonus in the game right now, 
It gives attack power, magic attack power, and agility. So you you hit harder, your spells also hit harder, and you go you get more turns because it's a CTB, and you gain more experience. Plus the HP and MP bonus. Huge, huge bonus for having the set. Essentially gaining 4,000 uh, hit points and 800 magic points just for having the set. And of course, by the time you get this, you'll have a lot more HP than you than this bonus. So like a thousand won't be as much, but it'll still add up as a, as a bonus to have that. We'll add a fifth set effect because I feel like all the classes can have uh, five things, even without a weapon and shield and pauldrons, because you can have helmet, body, gloves, leggings, and boots. So I think I'll make a fifth set effect at some point, but that's where I'm gonna call the stream for today. Thank you guys so much for coming into a thousand times experience. Yes, exactly. The cost of a new PC these days is just out of line because of the tariffs that, uh, you know, the U.S. put on China and then China went back with more tariffs and like it doesn't make sense to sell into the United States. It was supposed to promote like so that you get better prices for businesses here. But the thing is, we're not even making those things here. Like a lot of those things are not being made or manufactured here and like the, the cost to set up those plants would take like 10 years and like lots of expense until it's happened. So like in 10 years from now, I don't know if it's a good or bad idea. Right now it's definitely hurting farmers a lot. It's hurting um, the, the tech industry massively. Like, yeah, so I don't really, I wasn't really a fan of the tariffs to, to begin with because it hurts us more than it actually hurts uh then it helps us in the end. But I don't know. I'm, I'm not an economist. I can just see from a layman's perspective. And my opinion is just my opinion. And I don't represent any anything official on, on that front. But yeah, that's basically it for today. We did some uh, updates to the project. We recorded a quick tips and tricks. I'll edit that video later and put that on the channel. Um, thank you guys so much. What's up, gamer bud? How you doing? Joined at the end. Uh, you don't get magic at all ever? Nope, never. Not even in your dreams. You should add it when you gain skills if you have states. Armor, not states. Drifty the economy expert. No, I am not. I'm not a stock uh, broker. So when I give stock recommendations, don't, don't really take them with more than just some guy saying something. Because that's really all it is. Same thing for my economy talk. But uh, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Join us tomorrow, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. We're going to be working on the project some more. We have a first impressions on Friday to do. Oh, I got to fix the font. Vino told me twice about this font color. Let me let me try to fix this real quick. Can I do something about this? Patreon backers, blah, 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 blah. Read from file. Use a Google font. Whoa. Um... Gradient color? Color. Um, will this change the color? Is there like some weird filter on it or something? I feel like there's a weird filter. Let's try this red. No, no, no. Let's try green. What? It's not even changing. Text transform. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that must be the background. Gradient background color is black. 50% see through. Let's make it a little bit more opaque. Alignment left center, outline, outline size two, outline color. Let's give it a color outline, maybe? Oh, it's the outline. Okay. Is that better if I make it mostly like a white color? Is it bright? So it's a bright color on a black background. I think that's probably better. I'll make it like a light green, but more brighter. A white light green. Outline opacity, bring this down. I'm trying to fix this for you, Vino. 
well for for the patreon backers as well but like because your, your suggestion here's the color of the font let's make the color a bright green whoa why did it go red go green green cool how does that look can you read the names better now Can you do my taxes, Drifty? No, I don't want to do your taxes. Go to free taxes, free tax USA. I think it's .gov or .com. I don't know. Go to Google. Free tax USA. It costs you like fifteen bucks, and that's the best way. Don't don't use TurboTax. I've been screwed by TurboTax way too many years. If you insist on using TurboTax, then don't don't Google TurboTax. Go to the um, IRS website. Uh, and then find the link from the official .gov website. Because TurboTax has like free options and then they have actual some free options. Those are like 20, 30 bucks. But like they're free. Everything, the free options, they're usually not. Like they, they've scrubbed the SEO so that you get spammed and if you search you only find their paid ones but they all say free but you find all their paid ones Corey Davis made it at the end oh my god dude dude we're done we're about to we're about to call it free tax USA costs 15 bucks yeah but use free tax USA I'm telling you I've used a lot of different services Free Tax USA is the best. They have the best, absolutely, and the low and one of the lowest costs. It's like 15, 20 bucks. And it's just the absolute best. If you use TurboTax, you're gonna get screwed, trust me. Free! Only 20. No, it's like $89.99. Plus, if you want to claim deductions, it's another $49. If you're 1099 tax form filing, uh, you get screwed. You gotta pay 50 bucks to write down your forms. Like by the end of the by the end of the day, if you're like a independent, like private contractor, you pay out the ass to TurboTax. You'll pay like two, three hundred dollars for like a five hundred dollar return, like something pitiful. And and like three hundred, two, three hundred dollars goes to TurboTax. You're like, what the fuck? This is wrong. One year I got robbed so hard. And it was a, it was a small year too because I had just quit my teaching job, which I was 1099 as well. So like, yeah, just trust me. Use Free Tax USA, especially if you're a private contractor, a.k.a. 1099 form. I've got financial advisors. Mine are complicated. I'm just joking. Okay. Yeah, you don't want me to do your taxes. Wait, doing taxes costs money in the U.S.? Or is it you pay someone to do them? No, you can pay someone to do them for you, but it costs money just to do them, yeah. Even the free options cost money to, to file your taxes. Now, you can go to, like, the post office and get forms and fill them out and, like, be, like, at the end of the line. But, honestly, you should file online and you should have a direct deposit set up. Otherwise, it's going to take a long time to get your money and you're going to have, like problems hassles it's possible but just pay 15 bucks a free tax usa don't use turbo tax that's that's my uh i guess i'll never be a turbo tax sponsor because i'm i'm shit i'm shitting all over them today but anyway i do gotta go love you guys very much thank you so much for coming to the stream we'll see you guys tomorrow at two o'clock eastern standard time Bye bye